The lead and copper rule was established by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency to protect public health by reducing the risk of exposure to lead and copper levels in drinking water. First draw samples must be collected by all community water systems and non-transient, non-community water systems at cold water taps in homes and buildings that are potentially at high risk. The number of sampling sites is based on system size. Consult the EPA's Lead and Copper Rule Quick Reference Guide for more information. There are two ways to obtain samples. You can collect the samples yourself or have the residents of the water system collect the samples for you. Letters are usually sent to find volunteers to participate in the sampling program. Residents collect samples and complete a simple instruction sheet. Samples are usually picked up by the water provider and transported to a laboratory for analysis. Samples should be taken from a kitchen or bathroom cold water faucet, preferably with separate faucets for hot and cold water. Never collect samples from a point of use treatment device faucet. Unlike other sampling protocols, EPA recommends that the aeration device should not be removed from the faucet prior to sample collection. Do not run water before collecting the sample. Samples must contain the first water drawn from the faucet in order to obtain the highest potential lead and copper levels. The water must stand six hours before sampling. Sampling first thing in the morning often works best. Take a one liter sample bottle, remove the cap, and make sure it does not get contaminated. Place the container directly below the faucet and open the cold water tap. Fill the sample bottle to the one liter mark on the sample bottle. Don't overfill. Cap the container and turn off the water when finished. Fill out any required sample bottle label information. Samples must be analyzed by a laboratory certified by the state to perform drinking water lead and copper analyses. Recently, the United States Environmental Protection Agency created new guidance and sample reporting guidelines regarding drinking water requirements for states and public water systems. That information and more can be found on the US EPA website at the address below.